Now, we need leadership in Britain today. There's no secret in that. We've seen with the MPs' expenses scandal, the lack of moral leadership, leadership based on conviction rather than pragmatism, and we end up with administration at the mercy of expediency. People do what is convenient for them rather than what is right without leadership. We see it with the recession. The recession is caused really by ineffective leadership, isn't it? Unregulated free market capitalism. British banks alone lent 700 million pounds, more than they took in in retail deposits, which is how Britain got into this situation. They tried to expand too quickly. That's not just bad management, that's bad leadership. And even if it wasn't for these social issues, people would be looking for leadership today because of the rapid change they're encountering in life. Some of that change is driven by data flow. In the year 2006, it's estimated that the world produced just in excess of 161 exabytes of information. An exabyte is one billion billion bytes. 161 of these exabytes is equal to three million times the total data in all the books ever written in the world put together was produced in the year 2006. The estimation is that next year, 2010, the number will climb to 989 exabytes of information. And people are looking for leaders to help them make sense of all this information overload. Some of the change we see is driven by natural forces. We know, for example, that we're losing fresh water in the world at the rate of 6% every year. That means in the lifetime of some of your teenage children, nations will go to war over this new liquid gold called water. So there's so much change. There's change in technology. Computers double in power every 18 months. Somebody said, when's your computer too old? As soon as you get it out of the store. If it continues at this rate, by the year 2025, the chips in our computers will be 10,000 times more powerful than the ones we use today. There's already more power in your digital watch than there was on Apollo 11 that took men to the moon and back. Optical fiber technology that we're all placing our hopes on for really vast bandwidth uh, internet. That is, if it ever comes to Britain, and we pray that it does soon. One optical fiber cable can carry as many as six million conversations. One cable can, carry, can connect 13 million people. Technology is moving ahead at such an incredible rate, and we rely on it so much. In the year 2007, a BlackBerry problem caused a temporary glitch in the service and denied service in America to five million servers for a few days. Psychologists noted at the time a rise in the number of people coming to them with symptoms like feelings of alienation and loneliness. Classic symptoms of drug withdrawal. Some people even reported phantom vibrations. <laughs> now that's not you've got mail, that's got, you've got problems there, right? <laughs> We rely on this so much, this pace of change is so overwhelming that for many people the only solution is to find leaders who can make sense of it all. What I'm coming to is this, leaders provide landmarks, reference points that don't change. 